Good morning everyone! This is going to be a very exciting video. I filmed it over the course of October, around about Halloween time, and I think you guys are going to enjoy it as well. It's it's satisfying, but I'm not going to speak on it too much. I did film an intro for this video, but the intro has just disappeared from my camera roll. So this is now, I like a month in to this already being up, but I still hope you enjoy it. It did take me a long time, it took me about three days to complete, but I'm very excited for it. I think I, I started saying this in my videos that I wanted to get this done so many months ago, January time. I was like, I just want to get it done. I just want to do it. And now I've only just done it. Anyway, enjoy the video. This is my color choice and I can't find the paint. Just came back from B&Q, got my paints, got white, a base coat, and then I've got my color. I look besheveled. Wonderful. So I'm going to go home, see if we've got paint rollers and the paint box. If we don't, then I'm just going to go to B&M and buy some. Got my paints. I got classic and good home walls and ceiling. This is just the, the base coat that I'm gonna use because my wall currently is gray and it kind of needs to be not gray for this color to show up. Anyway, let's go see if we've got rollers and stuff. If not, I've got to go out again. Ah, there's all the paint stuff. Oh my Lord. Oh, here's the paint stuff. <gasps> Amazing. I really didn't want to have to go digging in there. That paint over there, the top one, the gray, that's my paint. I need new paint brushes because my paint brushes are crusty. That's the stuff. Pro tip, if you want to reuse these, line them with cling film or plastic wrap. We've had these same paint holders for years. Yeah, that's that's how life is going right now. So I'm just gonna line this. Officially have everything. New brushes, um, all purpose, masking tape, poly filler for my walls because I've got dents in my walls from my bed. It has taken me two hours to finally get everything because I couldn't find some stuff and then I had to try and find a level, still can't find the level. Anyway, I wanted to show you my paint options. I bought peach. I'll show you the color once I actually open the tin. I remember we had paint and I found soft stone. Look at that color. I'm thinking, depending on how well this goes, <sighs> I'll show you my design once I get to that stage, but I have an idea. I don't know how well I'm going to execute it. I'm not a very good painter. I painted some ghosts. My ghosts don't look like ghosts, but I do have some silk white paint for my base. Also, I think I want to paint the rest of my room white as well. So yeah, I think we can officially start moving stuff, start getting this project under underway. This is the before. It's just a plain gray wall. It's boring. It's dull. It's dead. It's flat. I hate it. I used to love it, now I'm done. I'm done with it, I want colour in my bedroom. My bedroom is very plain and I'm trying to add more colour to spice it up. This is what I'm going for. First, we are going to polyfiller. You scrape the polyfiller, make sure it's all nice and smooth. And then we're going to paint the wall white and then we'll start doing the actual decoration. I need to take all this stuff down, move some stuff. I know I've said this in my videos quite a couple of times that I'm dying to change this wall and I finally am doing it. I'm doing it a week after I've just uploaded my decorating my room with ha for Halloween. So it's like, it's going to be an added bonus to the bedroom, but I'm gonna try and keep it secret until this video goes up. Let's start moving stuff. best part about painting and having to move everything, you get to see what you didn't vacuum for months, years probably. It's actually not as bad as I thought it would be. There's only like a couple of dust bunnies. A duster and just dust everything. Starting with the poly filler because I have dents. I'm using chopsticks because it's all, all I have to mix at the moment. I've got my smooth paste. Look at that. Let me show you the dents in my wall. Can you see that? Yep, I've got quite a few of those. I'm gonna watch a horror movie while I'm doing it. It's still Halloween while I'm doing this, so. I'm gonna start on the far side, start painting where I haven't already put poly filler because I don't wanna waste time. I'm gonna start with the white so I can get rid of this gray. Wait, but that's dry. And then I'll do another coat. I wanna paint the rest of my room white because currently it's like a an off blue. I had like a purple color underneath the white that I put on originally and it went purple. I'm just wearing these like pajama shorts that I'm never gonna wear again because they look like a diaper on me.
The white paint that I bought is not actually very good. It's very patchy, but I've already spent money on it. I'm not going to waste it. It's a whole tin. I'm going to do the whole, whole room. First coat is done. I still need to paint those things over there, the bolts, but the first layer is done on the accent wall. I still need to do all of this. But while I'm waiting for the first layer to dry, I'm gonna charge my camera and I'm gonna go make some food. Layer two. I couldn't stand the paint that I bought so I went back to my local hardware store to buy more paint and I, I caved and I got the big tub of Dulux white silk paint because after one stroke of the Dulux paint the wall is basically white. The other stuff that I got it's still patchy and annoying so I'm gonna do the third coat and then we'll come back and I'll give you an update. Okay after several hours and another trip to B&Q where I had to buy this large pot of paint that paint awful the wall is almost complete well completely whitened i still need to do one more coat currently it has four coats it needs one more coat and i need to do another coat on the top it is currently seven o'clock at night and i am calling it a day tomorrow i will do one more coat of white let it dry and then the hard part comes where i have to measure where the, the arch is gonna go and oh and i'm gonna continue to paint the rest of my room after i've done that but that's probably gonna take a whole day drawing the arch up making sure it's aligned making sure it's even it's a lot but anyway good night i'll see you in the morning Good morning, it is day two of completing my wall. We have a fresh plastic wrap paint holder. I'm tired. I need to do one to two more coats of the white and then we'll start the orange. It's gonna be a hard one because it's uh, one of those things where it's measure and uh, whatever. Anyway, I'm gonna put my show back on and continue on. That is pretty much all the coats of white that I can handle right now. For the arch, I just need to measure where I want it and how I'm gonna position it. And then I can just paint around it if I see spots that aren't completely white. I need to figure out how big I want this because I want it to fit around my bed. I'm going to use some tape and some string to sort of adjust how I'm, I want the dome, how straight it is. It may not come out as straight as I want it, but I can only have some hope. Let's do this. My bed the arch should go like that so it can hit the center this is my reference point for how wide it, the dome needs to be and how i only want it to be framing my bed and my shelves there may be some mess ups but it's a learning curve and i'm enjoying it quick explanation of what's happening before i continue on i have put one of my shelves back up so i have something to adjust the bed to because I'm trying to make sure it's center or at least somewhat center as much as I can get it to be center. <laughs> I'm trying to make sure that on each side it is going to be even. Currently it, it comes up to 170 and 170. I'm probably going to do 150, 150. That seems to be pretty equal centimeters. This is what we're working with. I'm going to use the bed as my measuring. Some string and then I need to find some tape that is not going to pull the paint that I've already got on the wall off because that seems to be a reoccurring theme with masking tape it's an issue really the camera wasn't recording so you've just missed how i just measured everything with a plank of wood and now i'm measuring the dome the longest time i didn't know how i was going to do this and this is it so i just use like a piece of string to make a straight line and i'm going to mask it and then i'm going to do the other side. i think i have to lower it because i want the dome to sort of it's going to be a big arch but it's fine
A few inches later. I have sanded, I have gotten it all prepped. Are we ready to open the new tin of paint? Because I am. I need a new roller and a rolling holder. God, that is beautiful. Show you this color quickly. Okay, it's coming up a lot more yellow on camera, but in person, it's stunning. It's exactly the color I was looking for, a peach tone. One last look of what it is currently. Are you ready for the first stroke of paint? I know I'm making a big deal out of this, but I've been wanting to repaint this wall for so long, and now I'm officially doing it, and it's making me very happy. Look at that pumpkin color. I mean, it's not pumpkin, it's peach, but still. Oh, it's beautiful. It's more orange than I thought it would be, but obviously this is just the first, first stroke, so it's gonna take a couple of hours to dry, and then I'll see it properly. I'm in love. I'm in love. Wise words of Taylor Swift. Y'all ready for this? Ooh, look at that line. There's a little bit of bleeding, but I can fix that. I'm taking the tape off because I've had a history of once the paint is dried, it sticks to the tape and the tape pulls off the paint that I've already done. So I'm doing it now and I'm just gonna go over s slowly with the edges once I've finished. But so far I've done all the edges, so I'm gonna remove all the tape and carry on with the middle. <laughs> nearly done I'm just cleaning up the edges you'll see why in a minute but um I've got a very steady hand so this kind of works perfectly and I'm just trying to paint away the other marks that I've made but I've got to do another coat of peach but I'm just waiting for this layer to dry so while the layer is drying I'm painting white over the marks that I've made but it, it looks good let me show you up close so you see I'm trying to just fix marks like that but so far there is a bit of bleeding and then here are the pencil marks that I'm trying to paint over <laughs> It's looking so good. And now I need some help because I, I don't know if this is the only one I want to do, but I have this corner. This is where my couch goes. I'm going to put up another picture and you guys can decide for me whether it's a good idea to put another one there because I've got enough paint. I've got enough paint to last me a lifetime. So let me know what you guys think of having one on that side as well. And here she is in all of her glory. Ignore that, uh, it's just a shadow of wet paint that is drying currently. Okay, let me give you a full view before I pack everything away and finally get my bedroom back to the way it was because it's been two days of my room looking like this. Just everything. Bed in the middle of the room. Clothes that I've just hung up because I have no way else to put them. A trash bag that I need to Throw in, the, throw in the bin. This is what it looks like. Now, of course, once once the bed is up against the wall, it will look better. How beautiful. Look at my, my work. I think I did a very good job. It's not completely even, but I think I did a very, very good job. Patting myself on the back. I really am. Time to pack my bedroom back the way it was. Penny? Oh, hello. <laughs> I didn't see you there. Here you go.
Okay, everyone, it has been a couple of days. I wanted everything to dry before I actually showed you the final finishing touches. Not sure if I'm 100% finished with the paint project yet. For now, this is what it looks like. I painted pretty much all three of my other walls white. And then my main wall. <gasps> this took me forever to make. Might I just add. Um, getting it straight was also an issue and my bed's not completely in the middle, I need to do that. But this is what my arch looks like. And I'm still on the defense of whether I wanna put one right here, a small one behind my couch. I'm on the defense, I don't know. It would be half on this wall and half on that wall, but this is what my wall looks like. I am very pleased with how it came out. I am very pleased. Maybe this side is not as straight as this one, but you know what, it's a slight kink and I'm okay with that. You only really see it is if someone points it out or if you've got an eye for these sorts of things. I'm very proud. Thanks everyone for sticking around. If you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to like and subscribe and stay tuned for another paint project. We might just be adding an extra arch to the wall. Let me know if that would be a good idea. I can't make a decision like this for myself. I'm not an interior decorator, so I don't know if that would look good or if it'd be too much. Let me know. Anyway, everyone, have a lovely day and I'll see you in the next one.